Hi, my name is Josh, and this is to kind of help you guys out to do uh, Professor Fultz's 490 class. Now, the question you have to ask yourself is, what do you want to create? Uh, normally, you can take what he does in 330 and do something where you do something web-based, do a connection with the back end with Java, and then have an SQL database that you connect to somehow, just like you do in the, the class. I chose to go a little bit of a different path because I'm very comfortable in Java. I chose to do Java FX for my front end stuff. Uh, the middle end is still Java and the back end is still uh, the MySQL database, which I will show you. But how I started is to do Java FX. Uh, as you can see here, it's actually part of the Java library. You just have to like basically just reference it in the libraries. There's plenty of tutorials out there for you to use. So that's super easy to use. Uh, so basically what it starts off with is my concept was to make a tea time network, like a tea sheet, like if you've ever played golf, like you have foursomes, twosomes, all that sort of stuff, something I'm very familiar with. So once you get a concept, kind of flesh it out and go from there. So let me actually show you how it runs. So it's connecting to my thing there. So this is what pops up. This is the window. This is my actual project. Uh, so as you can see, you have a username and password. I just have like an admin password. It just does a little connecting bar. And this is the actual tea time network, like tea time thing it does right there. So what I did is I added a bunch of features, like you can change the day, you know what I'm saying? You can edit, delete, like for example, if you wanted to edit it, you could change the last name to, you know, Johnson. And you hit save, and then it changes it to Johnson. Change the golfers, all that sort of stuff. Uh, you can also add just regular tea time. You could also delete it. So if you just hit delete, you know, delete the tea time, popped out, deleted. Uh, and then you log back out and it goes back to this. So that's basically my overall function. And there's a lot of other stuff in terms of your user stories and user cases that you're going to want to do. So this is the actual job that is run. So all that you saw popped up is all the T Sheet FX extended application. In the main, this is literally all that's in my main is in the launch. Then it goes through start, which if you just do a couple tutorials, it's super easy to do that. But the main, what I wanted to show you was the connection, right? So how does it connect? It's the same way you do it in 330, where you just have a you know connection, do the singleton, use all your old code. Uh, this is the the window I put in there to do it. But you know I'm seeing if the singleton is null, it's all the same stuff you've done before. You just have to reapplicate it here. So mainly we just made the connection handle just the connection. Uh, we had to get t times one where it just connects it, gets the t times and throws it to the translator class. We had add a t time, delete a t time, and edit a t time. So what I would recommend starting is just connect it to your t time, have stuff in your database and have your front show what's in there and then worry about editing, changing, deleting all your more complicated user stories till like later. Just get your good base down first. Right. So I think this is the translator. This is kind of where we do a lot of our stuff right here. So we can create our own classes, like the alert box that pops up when you mess something up. It's just super simple stuff. Like this is just goes through my entry form. Uh, the login when you first come up is something like this. Uh, and then basically the FX is the actual class. So like login is an actual class of login. It's super simple, nothing much to it, but it allows us to store all the information as a login object and to pass stuff back and forth and things like that. The same thing with the tea time, uh, which is right over here. So the tea time is literally just a tea time class that has all this stuff. And you just, as you can see, getters, setters, two string, it's super simple. The main work is in your other stuff. And the point of sale is the same thing. It's just a screen of the point of sale. All right. So this is the actual database that we use. It has a tea time and a user. So these are all the tea times, what it looks like. They're unordered. We let the Java middle handle all the ordering and all that sort of stuff. I know SQL can go ahead and do all that sort of stuff, but we just let figure to be easier to do that. And we didn't really have time. So, uh, so that's the tea times. And then the users, this is like our actual authorized users. Uh, one thing I would recommend that I did not do is I would have unique uh, primary keys because we ended up having to do a lot of complicated code to, to composite keys of basically using the entire thing as a composite key, which you could just use one 
primary key right there and you'd be just fine. Uh, other than that, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. My name is Josh Westross. I'm one of the tutors in the tutoring lounge up there all the time. So yeah, I've asked, thank you. So yeah, just slow down, just come on by. And if you need to talk to me, I can show you this in person. All right. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.